Hey guys, so I want to start this video by thanking everyone who watched my last video, which was all about how I got into sonography school. I've been in school for about a month now, and it has been so great. So in this video, I'm just going to talk all about everything that we've been learning, everything that we've been up to for the past month. So the first thing that I want to tell you guys is basically my weekly schedule. So on Monday, we have four hours of scan time in the morning, and then we have our um, sectional anatomy and normal sonographic appearance class. Then on Tuesday, we have another four hours of scan time in the morning, and then we have our foundations of sonography class. Then on Wednesday, we have clinical prep, which has been online up until this week, which it's gonna start being in the classroom so that we can start putting together our clinical notebooks. And then on Thursday, we just have four hours of scan time and then we can stay afterwards for open lab if we like or that's it, we're done for the day. And then on Friday, we have physics in the morning and then after physics, um, the lab is open again so we can go to open lab afterwards if we like. So the anatomy class and the scanning go hand in hand. The first thing that we learned was um, nobology, so how to change some of the settings on the machine to make the picture look better. The three most important things that we um, learned first are depth, focus, and gain. So far we've learned to scan the aorta, the liver, and the gallbladder. So our instructor will kind of run us through it real quick in the morning, and then we'll get a chance to practice on each other. We get these protocol sheets, which basically will tell us each picture that we need to take, what position the patient needs to be in, and the position the transducer needs to be in in order to get that picture. And then more recently, we've learned how to adjust the power output of the machine, the frequency, and TGCs, which just help change the resolution of the picture. In our fundamentals class, we've just been learning about things that don't necessarily involve the scanning itself, but are still important for the sonographer to know. So the first thing that we learned was ergonomics. That's how to properly position your body, how to keep your back straight, make sure that you keep your arm at a certain angle and that you're not extending your arm too far, um, just so that you don't hurt yourself while you're working. We also learned how to properly move the stretchers and how to move patients from if they're in a wheelchair onto a stretcher. We all took a BLS course, which is basic life support for healthcare providers, CPR and AED, and we got our certifications. So far, clinical prep has been a lot of just making sure everybody has all their vaccinations. We've also talked a lot about professionalism and what the clinical sites will expect of us. Some examples we've been given are to make sure we're always early, to help stock the rooms, and never to ask a question in front of the patient, to wait till the patient is gone before asking the sonographer a question about the scan. And clinical starts next month. We've already got our placements. The first day is, I believe, October 5th. So I'm really nervous about that, but also super excited. <laughs> then we have physics, which is probably the class that I was most terrified of, but actually turns out to be one of the easier classes for me, just because we have this amazing book here that walks us through everything. As you can see, I have marked off like so much in this book. This prepares us to take the SPI, which is the physics boards exam that we have to take at the end of the semester. So right now we are more than halfway through this book and it's only been about a month. But like I said, physics, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The next thing I wanna talk about is to give you guys some study tips. So what has helped me, of course, is taking notes. So I like to take a lot of notes in lots of different colors. It just helps me remember better. <laughs> Our teacher gives us a lot of PowerPoints that are really helpful to go over and as I go over the PowerPoints, I make sure that I make a bunch of flashcards over questions that might be asked on the test and I always make sure that I know the answers to everything in my flashcards before the day of the test. I also think it's really important to draw and label certain things that maybe you have trouble understanding. So for me, it's helpful to actually draw, know where the vessels go, label the vessels, instead of just trying to make a picture in my head, to actually draw it out so that I can really remember the location and relationships. 
It's also really important to read the textbook, but a lot of times the textbook can give you way more information than you actually need to know, especially since it's, it's like just our first semester. Um, so we are not looking into a lot of pathologies right now. So what I would recommend is just to, you know, go over the textbook, but just highlight what's, you know, really important. And the last thing I want to talk about is a couple of different projects that we've had to do so far in class. So the first one that we did was this vascular project. So in this project, we had pipe cleaners and we had to um, go ahead and put them in the correct positions and label all of them. We did have a worksheet that gave us a basic description of some of the relationships and then we were just having to put them in the correct positions. And I'll have to add in a picture of the next two because the teacher actually um, took those up and collected them for grading. But basically we had a Play-Doh project where we had to make all of the organs in the body and lay them out on a um, piece of poster board in the correct anatomical positions. And we were also supposed to make them the correct size as close as we could. And then the last project that we had was the transducer project, which was a physics project. And in that project, we had to build our own transducer. So I crushed shade and sewed mine together. Um, we also had to label all of the parts inside the transducer. And then there was a little PowerPoint that went along with it, answering a couple more questions. So to sum up, I'm doing really well in all of my classes. I love school right now. My classmates are great. My instructors are great. The school's great. I love ultrasound and I'm so excited to to continue this journey. So that was everything about the first month of school. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you as soon as I can. And stay tuned for my next video, which will probably be my next month of school. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.